My sense of it is, just from personal experience, is, you know, it's telling people you care deeply about something they don't want to hear. It's telling people you work with or you're allied with or you've broken bread with or you've made common cause with, no, um, that's a bad idea and I'm going to go against that and I may actually effectively stop it. Oh, I think of myself as a Yale lawyer after doing this for 40 plus years. You learn that there are people um, who are really, really smart, really gifted. And maybe they don't do exactly what you do, what you're really good at, but the things they're good at is chilling. And, you know, you, you, you need to learn to embrace that and you know, if you're going to be productive to work with people who are really talented. It dawns on you in a way that perhaps it doesn't necessarily in an undergraduate setting that there are, you know, enormously gifted people and who, who, who on, on certain things in certain areas, you're never going to catch up. So what you should do with them is work with them and, you know, leverage each other and complement each other. And that's something I saw for the first time in law school and just, you know, when I'm at my best as a lawyer, that's what I'm doing. When I was here and you're like looking into things like, why do we have contracts? And what's the underpinnings of this? And why do we even have tort rules instead of just a set of regulatory requirements? Why do we have these private rights of action? Why do we have procedure that's you know, neutral principles and applies in every context. And, and what you uh, see when you practice is that that stuff of sort of excavating um, below the sort of supposed received principles of law, that's what you do for a living. That's a point of departure. Your work begins when you start um, digging underneath and thinking about what's a narrative that uh, I can make appealing using some principle that's kind of imminent in these facts. You get into deconstruction and reconstruction, which, you know, it seems kind of abstract and what's going on here and whatever. It's actually the environment you're going to be operating in when you have the jobs that you will get coming from here. It's hugely helpful to have a few along the way so that when bigger ones come, you've seen this before, you've seen this movie, it doesn't necessarily end in disaster. I had a, 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 a you know, a, uh, a, an incredibly smooth road, which didn't prepare me well for anything not smooth. I, I, I think the thing that you learn from something like that is you, you know, you, you learn you just have to not sort of catastrophize um, every pothole. You, you, you prove your worth by how you dust yourself up off when you get off the floor. Um, you just have to do that. I mean, I just think you make yourself stronger by how you deal with it. It's really a, a part of who you want to make yourself into, who you want to be. You, you know, you, you don't want everything handed to you. You want to be the person who can climb out of the hole. I knew this was really special. I knew I was really lucky. I was thrilled every day to be here and every day after to say I had been here. I guess I would tell myself to chill out and actually get into the, you know, law and narrative or, you know, why are we doing this in a track like here where it's you know, school, grades, recommendations, clerkship, whatever. And it, it all, it, it seems like everything is pretty well defined and you want to tick every one of those boxes and it's really important if you to do that. I guess what I would tell myself is, you know, there's a lot of lawyers who are really good um, and then there's a lot who are really successful. They're not all the same people. 
And a lot of them didn't go to Yale, remarkably enough. And some of them didn't clerk. And some of them, uh, you know, emerged without ticking every single one of the boxes you ticked. It's nice to pursue goals. It's nice to, 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 to get what you want. Clerkships are great. Um, but, you know, I would tell myself not to be so fixed and worried and utterly committed that there was one single true path. And if it didn't end up with either, you know, a Supreme Court clerkship or a seat on the court or, or, or at Yale as a professor, it would be okay. I just told the class, um, I said, you know, I want you to know something that, because I used to be sitting there, um, this thing that you're worried about, like, what am I really learning? What am I really doing? What you're learning is actually what you're gonna be doing. What you're learning is about, you know, deconstruction and reconstruction and you know, going deep underneath received understandings of what the legal principle is. That's actually what you do. The other stuff that was written down and is in the Hornbook, that's kind of fake. It's good for the bar exam and that's the end. So you, you're, I said you, you and probably some of your teachers will be appalled to hear you're actually receiving an enormously practical education. That's, and don't worry, you're at the right place.